Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to build Java project using Gradle Jenkins Freestyle Job. So let's go. So here today's session we will cover some topics like what is purpose of building Java project using Gradle Jenkins Freestyle Job. After that we will see prerequisite for that project. Then last one we will see step to build Java project using Gradle Jenkins freestyle job in that we will cover some part like a configure gradle in jenkin after that we will see how to configure gradle in tool configuration then after that create a new freestyle job then configure the source code management after that we will see how to build step configuration then it's optional post step build actions okay post build actions and after that these all these configuration we have to save and we can uh, monitor the build progress okay so all these steps we will see in practically so without the wasting time let's we start with the what is purpose of building java project using gradle jenkin freestyle job so let's see firstly we will see here in that why we use here jenkin because it's a use for automate streamline software development process why because of it's integrate with version control system like git github and after that we will see in the in that Jenkin, how to automate the building, testing, and deployment, and ensuring the code quality, reducing the manual errors. Okay, so here in that we will cover Gradle. Why we use Gradle? Because it's a open source build automation tool. It's a use for the building, automating, and managing build process of your software project. So why its purpose? Because when we integrate this Gradle and Jenkins, it's freestyle job. It's automate the standardize the process of compiling, testing, and packaging the Java application within your Jenkins continuous integration environment. It's ensure the code quality and facilitating efficient software development and deployment. Okay, so let's see here. Next topic, prerequisites. So for that project, we have prerequisite like we have to install the Jenkin. Okay, so on your server, I have here already launched this instance Jenkin and using this public IP address here. I install the Jenkins and access the public using public IP address using 8080 port. I access the web server of the Jenkins. Okay. So after that, you have to install the Gradle on same machines. So on that, these machines, I have already installed the Gradle. Then you have to one java project with gradle and it's hosted on your version control system like git so here i have already hosted the one gradle project on github account okay this is the gradle project it's uh, some files and directory present here okay so let's see steps to build java project using gradle Jenkins freestyle job. So first step is login your Jenkins server. So I have already logged in with Jenkins server. After that, you have to configure the Jenkins. Uh, you have to configure Gradle in Jenkins. Okay. So firstly, you have to install the plugin. So how we can install? So for that, you have to go on the dashboard and that dashboard. So here, click on this manage Jenkins. After that, click on this plugin. 
and firstly you have to see here if here install plugin are present or not we have required one git plugin so it's install and gradle plugin we have required gradle plugin it's also installed okay so if both are not installed then you have to go in the available sec plugin section and here simply use the git plugin or gradle plugin search here and click on this checkbox after that install it okay so after that when installation is completed then click on this restart of your jenkin okay so after that we have to configure the gradle in tool configuration so how we can configure so here you have to go again manage plugins and go inside the tool configuration and here are some tools present inside that manage plugins so we have to set up the jdk installation so here click on this add and give the name of the jdk i will give java okay then here we have to give the part of that java home where in that your server where you are install or installation of the jdk path you have to give here so i have path here user labs jvm java and this version so let me copy and paste in that java home. okay so or simply you can install the automatically okay so click on this checkbox that time you know don't need to this part after that another installation is gradle okay so click on this add gradle and give the name for that gradle i will give gradle and again you have to require the gradle home path okay where you have to install this jdk oh, sorry gradle on your instance so or you can simply install the automatically so here i have again the gradle path like this but i will go with this install automatically okay then select the version from here so multiple version are present here okay so i will keep latest version and click on this simply save and this tool configuration we will configure here after that next step is you have to create a new freestyle job so how we can create freestyle job so simply you have to click on this new atom and give the name as a java gradle project after that select the pro type of project like a freestyle job project click on this ok then here we have to configure the all this section so in that general section i will give here git github project so this github project i will copy or simply you can copy the https link and paste here project url okay after that next step configure the source code management so here this is the configurations of the source code management this one and select the git because we are use github url so here enter the repository of url so like that this okay and here no need to give here credential and select the branch to build so here we have master branch let's see here see this is master branch and after that build trigger so all these i will keep as it is and in the build environment i select the delete workspace before build start okay after that in the build steps 
So here C in that builds step configuration. Then you have to add the build steps. Select the invoke Gradle script. So in that invoke Gradle script, you have to select the Gradle version. So I select the, this Gradle. Okay. This is we are configure in manage plugin J, uh, Gen kit. Okay. So after that, in that task, we give the command of the Gradle clean build. Okay. If you have to add the another build step, then again you have to click on this add build step and here execute cell or execute window batch command. If you are use window batch, mm -hmm. then select this, but I use here execute cell. Okay. Then here some commands like C in that list. These commands we have we are use here okay we can use here so here your build id you can print in your build history then if i use here echo for printing the message here like build id and echo job id let's see here job name okay i will select the job name then give here job name echo dollar job name after that if you are to see work workspace of that build then let me copy this and here again give here workspace dollar paste here okay after that if you want to see the url of the jenkin or build url then see here this, these commands we have so again use echo dollar jenkin url so like that commands you can execute here in the cell okay after that, last step is post the build action. Last configuration is post the build action. So for that, you have to click on this add post build and select the options from that, any of the option. If you want to see the archive, the artifacts, then click on this and give the files to archive. So I have one file, so like build lips task. Yeah. So let me copy and paste here. So here one folder. Okay. App build lips in that we are see. We will see the jar file. Okay. If you want to see the post bill action, another post bill action like this email notification or editable email notification, then select from this. Okay, so I will select the email notification and give this, give here the ops hint at the rate gmail.com. Okay, like that you can give here email ID and after the uh, build is success, then you get the message or email on your email ID. Okay. So click on this save now. All the configuration we were set up. And after that next step, click on this build now. And see in the build history, see here. So click on this one. And after that console output. So our starting Gradle daemon and our task completed and here build successful. See here. App clean, app compile, process resource classes, jar. Okay. So all these tasks completed and after that build generate and build successful. Okay. And where 
in that project this one and here you are use the build id after that your pro means project id and if you can see the url of that and this one is project id okay and this this one is url of that your jenkins around okay so here are archiven artifacts it's successfully let's see your artifacts archiving artifacts let's see here build artifacts okay so if you want to see click on this view or if you want to download so click on this app chart and again here your download it's going okay so That is your detailed process of your configuration of the free Jenkins freestyle job. Why we are used here? Because build the Java project using Gradle. So in this way, we will learn how to build Java project using Gradle Jenkins freestyle job. So thank you for the watching video.